back as a remission to work with staff. What we believe is um, a good, albeit not perfect, but a, a good solution to protect the county's interest as well as give the developer the flexibility that we requested. Um, we'd like to thank staff for their work. We believe this is a, a good, amenable solution. And what staff has worked on with the applicant is to propose the idea of access roads in the mixed-use traditional neighborhood development. Um, now, it's important to note, lots will still have to front on a public road. This does not mean that lots would be able to front on a private access road. They would still have to front on a public road. However, the multi-family buildings themselves would be allowed to be able to set back off of an access road instead of the front property line for public right of um, so with that being said, I'd, I'd like to take a little bit more time to go through this first read than I typically do. Um, and I'd first like to go over the definition of an access route with you all. Um, and we have written a private right of way built to state standards that is parallel to a public right of way and provides either primary or secondary access for vehicles to multifamily dwellings. Access roads shall provide at least um, two per, at, access roads shall provide access to at least two principal structures will be located on the same lots to which the road provides access and will be maintained by property owners association. All access roads shall be paved or surface graded to eliminate dust. Uh, a couple other things to add on to uh, these access roads that we have built in additional standards. Um, for example, all multifamily dwellings that front along an access drive shall provide pedestrian connectivity from the principal structure to the public right of way, meaning if they're set back further off, they've got to provide a sidewalk, sidewalk or some means for those pedestrians to get to the public road, and then that also, there will be sidewalks along that public road. Um, no off-street parking shall be permitted between a public right of way and an access drive. So with that, we hope that the intent of the ordinance is still met. I Meaning if you've got this public road and you've got the access drive set back around 50 feet off, we're not allowing parking in between that access road and the public right of way. So we we're, we're want landscaping there, things of that nature. So the intent of the ordinance is still met. We're not having the parking in the front. It's still got to be on the side or behind the building. Lots still have to front on a public road. You still have to meet your minimum lot front along a public road, but the buildings themselves through this code change would be allowed to be set back off of an access drive instead of that public right away. We worked with uh, Mr. Walton and also Josh Marsh who did the master plan, and we don't really foresee any any issues with this code change if it moves forward. 